Hey everyone, Metagross Freak here with a different take on a Borderlands 2 and Borderlands the pre-sequel video than I've done before. Um, and this video is talking about hybrid weapons, but in a different sense than the hybrid weapons that appeared in Borderlands 1. In Borderlands 1, uh, the unique, legendary, and pearlescent weapons had different parts. So you could have things like the Ajax Spear and the Ogre, and their unique parts could be on the same weapon, making an Ajax Ogre. Unfortunately, in Borderlands 2 and Borderlands the pre-sequel, this is a little bit different. The unique and legendary weapon effects are found on the weapon's barrel, and in the case of the Farmington's Edge, also on the scope. So what I would like to do is, this is kind of a theoretical video, where I would take the barrels of legendary or unique or pearlescent and even uh, serif weapons and put those barrels on the same weapon type but of a different manufacturer to essentially make a currently existing weapon that's better. Um, now, some of these weapons are my opinion. Uh, so some of these weapons that I say are good are my opinion, and some of them are just weapons I like that I speculate of how I would do them better. Um, to give an example of this, of what kind of thing I'm thinking of, I'd like to take a look at the 88 Fragnum from Borderlands the pre-sequel. Now, everyone says that basically the 88 Fragnum is the equivalent of the Unkempt Herald, but this really isn't true. If you look at the spread, rather than having the five gyrojet rockets spreading horizontally, it's kind of spread in a shotgun style. So the 88 Fragnum would be kind of an I would be kind of a, a similar example of like, for example, taking the barrel of a weapon like the Maggie, which is a, a masher style pistol, and putting it on a Torg weapon. So essentially the 88 Fragnum would be a would be as if Torg had a Maggie barrel, just as an example. So without further ado, here are a couple uh, weapons that I would do if I was to hybridize unique, legendary, etc. barrels onto other manufacturers' weapons. So the first step weapon is going to be the barrel of the Unkempt Herald on a Vladoff pistol. Um, this may seem like kind of an odd choice, after all I'm giving up some of that explosive damage, but essentially I would be putting it, essentially this would be creating a good Devastator. If you've ever seen the uh, if you've ever seen the Seraph weapon, the Devastator, found in the Captain Scarlet and her Pirate's Booty DLC, you'll know that the Devastator actually has really good fire rate for a Torque pistol, but it's, well, kind of a crappy weapon in general. And it's, uh, to, some, to some Borderlands YouTubers, one of the worst pistols in the game. Having the Unkempt Herald on a Vladoff was essentially give the Unkempt Herald that fire rate increase that the Devastator has, while also keeping its power and the spread of the gyrojets. Looking at another pistol, I would uh, one idea I had was taking the Lady Fist and putting it on a Jacob's pistol. Uh, this could essentially allow for a Lady Fist to have higher gun damage and higher accuracy, but instead of being on a Hyperion pistol, it would be on a Jacob's pistol, essentially kind of creating a version of the Luck Cannon that has a higher magazine and is able to potentially have a ridiculously higher critical hit modifier. Uh, I can only tell you what this kind of a weapon would do for a character like Nisha. It, it would essentially be the equivalent of having a rocket launcher in pistol form. Next up, a th the third pistol, I believe this is actually the final pistol, would be having the Grog Nozzle again on a Vladoff. Um, in the Tiny Tina and Dragon's Keep DLC, there is a, a Seraph pistol called the Stinger. And the Stinger is a very good Vlad Vladoff pistol, but it has very low uh, damage at the cost of having a ridiculously high fire rate. And so I thought, well, it would be great if this low damage barrel could do something in addition. And that's how I got the idea of putting a Grog Nozzle barrel on a Vladoff pistol. The Stinger can already come in slag, and the Stinger has lower damage, 
So, if you had a grog nozzle on a Vladoff pistol, you would essentially have a grog nozzle that could potentially have a higher magazine, as well as fire significantly faster, meaning you could easily get off five or six in a matter of seconds, as opposed to two, three, or four shots. It'd be a lot easier to slag people and then switch to another weapon to take them out. Uh, the next one might be kind of a controversial pick, and that would be taking the Slaga and Tattler, both of which are Bandit SMGs, as well as the Frigidia, which is a Doll SMG. These are essentially all the same weapon. The Slaga is, of course, Slag, Frigidia is Cryo, and the Tattler can be any element in Borderlands 2 except for Explosive. However, they all have kind of a similar idea. They fire I think it's either two or three projectiles for the cost of one ammo, and they actually have pretty decent status chances. Um, I would essentially put these barrels on a Hyperion SMG, kind of giving a similar idea to the Bitch SMG or the Fatal SMG, but having more projectiles and having a higher status chance. You could essentially, at long range, just send several projectiles across the battlefield to status someone for your other guns. Kind of with the same idea as the the grog nozzle I, idea I had. Uh, the next one is going to be kind of a variation on a currently existing weapon. Um, in Borderlands the pre-sequel you can put a Vladoff barrel on a Jacob's pistol and this is referred to as the pepper box. Now my idea is to place a infinity or the proletarian revolution barrel on a Jacob's Pistol, and I'm referring to this as the Pepper Box Plus. Uh, similar to the uh, currently existing Pepper Box, this gun would have a much higher fire rate than most Jacob's Pistols, and similar to the, inf with the Infinity, it would either, it would, not, it would not use ammo at all, as opposed to the Proletarian Revolution, which could have a potentially near infinite magazine size, which would be really nice on Jacobs. Not having to reload and being able to shoot really fast would be pretty great. Um, I believe the Pepper Box pistol to be a very good pistol, especially in Borderlands 2 on Nisha, and even to an extent um, Jack and Claptrap. However, being able to have an even higher fire rate and having the Proletarian Revolution or the Infinities um, uh, abilities would be really cool and would essentially just be a massive buff to the pepper box. The next up is going to be a kind of a controversial weapon, even in my opinion, and that would be placing the barrel of the 12 pounder on a Vladoff rocket launcher. Um, the Tunguska, Ahab, and 12 pounder all are kind of in this wheelhouse of Torg rocket launchers that are powerful, but are all kind of crap. The Tunguska has way too big of a blast radius and often puts you into fight for your life. The Ahab is notoriously hard to hit with, and the 12 pounder is actually pretty difficult to obtain because it can only be obtained from a non respawning boss. Of these three, I like the 12 pounder the most because of its cannonball design, which is actually easier to hit opponents with than the farmable Ahab. So essentially this is technically an Ahab, but better. However, the Tenguska is also pretty problematic too, and has that similar uh, cannonball arcing design that the 12 pounder has. By putting the 12 pounder, or I guess you could even say the Ahab barrel, on a Vladoff rocket launcher, this would allow not only a higher fire rate of these weapons, but would potentially add a higher magazine than the 12 pounder, which can be up to three in a magazine, as well as having a reduced ammo consumption. Essentially, since Vladoff rocket launchers have a chance to not consume ammo, I believe it's either every two or three shots, the 12 pounder would be able to be able to get not only more shots off with a higher magazine, but would save ammo too, allowing you to spam cannonballs in a really cool way. I know the 12 the 12 pounder isn't the best rocket launcher in Borderlands 2, but it's one of my personal favorites, and I love whenever I can get a 12 pounder. It's just it's really fun in my opinion. 
Next up is one that people are actually going to hate because it takes an OP weapon and makes it even more OP, and that's taking the North Fleet and putting it on a Vladov rocket launcher. I know I've been using Vladov for a number of these, but hear me out on this one. A lot of people who can't form for North Fleet might have a Topnia, which is a Vladov E Tech rocket launcher that is essentially a poor man's North Fleet. The North Fleet, on the other hand, fires three projectiles. However, by combining the North Fleet and a Vladov, this essentially creates a Topnia that can fire that multiple projectiles, essentially creating just a complete absolute storm of E-Tech balls. Considering how powerful the North Fleet is already, putting the North Fleet's barrel on a Vladov rocket launcher would of course just make it ridiculously overpowered, and the weapon I'm here referring to as the Fast Fleet is just broken beyond belief. However, I think it'd be really fun, and it's a weapon I would want to use when I'm just screwing around and trying to get up, say for example, Anarchy Stacks, or just, you know, trying to make a clap shop even more broken with rocket launchers. Next up is taking the Sandhawk and putting it on a Hyperion SMG, kind of in a similar fashion to the uh, to the Slaga Frigidia Tattler idea I had before. Uh, the Sandhawk would take those multiple projectiles and using a Hyperion gun, make them really accurate at long distance. I'm referring to this one as the Snipehawk, which makes perfect sense considering the Sandhawk is commonly used with the B-Shield for long-distance SMG sniping. Next up is the conference call and putting it on a Torg shotgun. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would I put it on a Torg shotgun? Many of you know I'm a big fan of the Ravager, which is a Torg shotgun that uses the four barrels. My thinking is putting the conference call or the viral marketer's barrel on a Torg shotgun, even though it would be a one barrel Torg shotgun, the additional projectiles of the conference call and viral marketer would essentially make this Torg shotgun a better version of the Flacker. The Flacker is actually a really difficult weapon to use, even if you have the right combination of gear, just because of the spread. However, with those additional projectiles dealing explosive damage, it would be really easy to have essentially a good version of the Flacker if the conference call and or the viral marketer barrel was put on a torque shotgun. Next up is I think the only sniper rifle on this list, and that's putting the Lyuda slash White Death slash Lyud Mila barrel, they're all the same gun but with different names, on a Hyperion sniper rifle. Now, I know that one of the best parts about the Lyuda is that it has a higher fire rate, but because it's a Vladov gun, it does have fairly poor drop-off in accuracy due to the recoil. With a Hyperion weapon, however, you'd be able to get those really good Lyuda kills without losing this accuracy. I kind of compare this to the Invader. The Invader is a Hyperion sniper rifle that has burst fire, and while this can be good, the Invader is not considered to be a very good sniper rifle because of the burst fire. However, with the Lyuda, you'd be able to send those multiple projectiles downrange at a fairly decent speed. However, you'd have that better accuracy of the Hyperion sniper rifle and less recoil. So essentially, it would be a better version of the Invader. The last weapon on this list is putting the Bada Booms barrel on, you guessed it, a Vladov rocket launcher. I gave this one a lot of thought, and I even did a little bit more research on this one, and I looked at the Mongol. The Mongol is a Vladov rocket launcher that has that rocket spread similar to the Bada Boom. However, the Mongol doesn't have the best accuracy due to kind of the way the rocket spread, and the Mongol has high ammo consumption. Putting the Bada Boom's barrel on a Vladov rocket launcher what essentially gives you, give you a Mongol rocket launcher with better accuracy and better ammo consumption, as well as a better fire rate. Uh, of course, all of these weapons are my opinion, and I'd love to hear what kind of weapon barrels you would like to see on another manufacturer. You know, would you like to see, for example, the 
Lady Fist on a Doll Pistol. It's crazy stuff like that. I'm willing to listen to whatever you have to say, and I'm actually looking forward to it. So, thank you for watching. Until next time, I'm Metagross Freak, and have a great one.